The King James 1611 AV Bible Versus The Amplified Bible By Stiley W. Hayward D.D. Fair Use Act Disclaimer This site is for educational purposes only. Fair Use Copyright Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976 Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Fair use definition. Fair use is a doctrine in the United States copyright law that allows limited use of copyrighted material without requiring permission from the rights holders, such as commentary, criticism, news reporting, research, teaching or scholarship. It provides for the legal, non-licensed citation or incorporation of copyrighted material in another author's work under a four-factor balancing test. The Amplified Bible was the Lachman Foundation's first Bible collaboration with Zondervan. In 1965, the Amplified Bible's first full edition was released. It is essentially a modification of the 1901 American Standard version with references to numerous original language works. The Amplified Bible was released in six stages, the Gospel of John, 1954, the New Testament, 1958. The Old Testament Volume 2, Job Malachi, 1962, The Old Testament Volume 1, Genesis to Esther, 1964, The Complete Bible, 1965, and the Updated Edition, 1966, 1987. in order to accurately translate the original text from one language to another. The Amplified Bible aims to take both word meaning and context into account. The Amplified Bible accomplishes this by providing informative alternate readings and amplifications to help the reader comprehend what scripture actually says. Multiple English word equivalents for each major Hebrew and Greek word. Explain and highlight concepts that would otherwise be lost in standard translation. On whose authority? Works using Amplified Bible, Classic Edition quotations must include one of the following copyright notices, whichever. One is most appropriate scripture taken from the Amplified Bible, AMPCE, Copyright Copyright 1954, 1958, 1962, 1964, 1965, 1987 by the Lachman Foundation. The King James 1611 AV Bible. Genesis 1 verse 21, And God created great whales. The Amplified. God created the great sea monsters. Wait. What? Multiple English word equivalents for each major Hebrew and Greek word explain and highlight concepts that would otherwise be lost in standard translation, they don't know what a whale is? Matthew 12 verse 40 For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Matthew 12 verse 40 For just as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the sea monster. Wait, wait a minute. I am supposed to trust scholars with a Bible, and they don't even know what a whale is. We could stop here, but we won't. Acts 8 verse 37 And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Acts 8 verse 37 Note A. Philip said to him, If you believe with all your heart, you may. And he replied, I do believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. 
Note, A, Acts 8 verse 37 early MSS do not contain this V. The question is, the Amplified Bible does not proclaim the eunuch's confession of salvation. The evidence does prove. Acts 8 verse 37 is preserved in a number of different forms. The earliest version appears almost exclusively in Latin copies. It is found in some old Latin manuscripts. ITM, 5th century, ITR, 8th century, ETAR, 9th century, and in some later Latin copies from the Middle Ages. It is also found in one 11th century Greek minuscule, some late Syriac copies, and in Armenian and Georgian manuscripts. There are minor variations between these witnesses. A second form of the verse is found in just one copy, the Greek-slash-Latin Diglot Codex E, 6th century. Both the Greek and the Latin text of this manuscript contain the second version. A third and much later version, the version found in the KJV, can be seen, with some minor variations, in minuscule 307, 10th century, 945, 11th century, 323, 610. 630, 12th century, and a small number of even later Greek copies. The Old Latin Manuscript ITT, 9th century, and a small number of later Latin copies from the 12th century forward. Also contain this version. Additionally, few Coptic copies read this way. As do some later translations like the Georgian, Slavonic, and many Ethiopic. A fourth version of the verse is present only in minuscule 629, 14th century. And yet another version was added into minuscule 88 by a later scribe, minuscule 88 did not originally contain the verse at all. 1 John 5 verses 6-8 This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that beareth witness, because the Spirit is truth. For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth. The Spirit, and the water, and the blood, and these three agree in one. Six This is he who came through water and blood, his baptism and death, Jesus Christ not by the water only, but by the water and the blood. It is the Holy Spirit who testifies, because the Spirit is the truth. He is the essence and origin of truth itself. 7 For there are three witnesses, 8 the Spirit and the water and the blood, and these three are in agreement, their testimony is perfectly consistent. The water is not baptism. Grave error, and what is missing, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. As a result, when the word, word, was omitted from 1 John 5. The context of the word, word, in John 1, 1, Jesus Christ, was lost. Losers, you're doing great. Genesis 2 verse 7 And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Genesis 2 7 Then the Lord God formed, that is, created the body of man from the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being, an individual complete in body and spirit. The Amplified Bible, man has no soul, pity. Daniel 3 verse 25 He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Daniel 3.25, he answered, Look, I see four men untied, walking around in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt. And the appearance of the fourth is like a son of the gods. Shadrach, Mesach, and Abednego were with Jesus Christ, the Son of God. They were rescued from the flaming furnace by Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the one who rescues you and me from the flaming furnace, i.e. hell. The contrast between the Son of God and the Son of many gods is significant. Consider that for a moment.
They say, Daniel 3.25 The KJV has the Son of God here, referring to the pre-incarnate Christ. Because the usual term for God is Elohim, a plural form. Even if it was the pre-incarnate Christ, however, the pagan king would not have had him in mind, but a son of the Babylonian gods, perhaps a minor deity or an angel. The ancient rabbis of course would have fought any attempts by Christians to equate the fourth person in the furnace with the Son of God, so they portrayed God as turning Nebuchadnezzar over to Satan for punishment for the words he exclaimed here, as if he did in fact say Son of God, and they made out v28 to be a confession on the king's part. That what he saw was after all just an angel. The Holy Spirit knows what the scholars don't. 1 Corinthians 5 verse 7 Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. 1 Corinthians 5 verse 7 Clean out the old leaven, so that you may be a new batch, just as you are, still unleavened. For Christ our Passover lamb has been sacrificed. The Amplified Bible removed the words, for us. The King James 1611 AV Bible. The Amplified Bible. Thank you for watching, share, like, and get a King James 1611 AV Bible please.